got this little jet boat that I haven't used in um, a long time, well over a year, it's covered in dust. Um, it's a good boat, the only issue with it is um, it sucks air, like it gets up to a certain speed and then the, um, the pump sucks air and then and then it grabs water and then it sucks air and then it grabs water. So what I was thinking of, I, I think I think some people will put like a little scoop over the back here um, to help that, but um, I don't know. It seems like it's just going to be extra drag on the back and push the nose down. So what I'm going to do is actually get the front of this um, lower with the with the bottom of the hull by cutting out a V here and feed the water in rather than have that little step there. And I think that'll probably fix it. So. Let's cut up a perfectly good boat and see what happens. So I've got the motor out now. Um, so I'm just going to be um, cutting out this, cut them out to about here, I guess. There is a small um, flat on there for that, but this this jet in this boat is for a much bigger boat than this. is more like a, a one meter kind of boat. Um, Whereas this one, this hull is only like 24 inches or something, like 600 mil. So I've gone way overboard with the size of a jet, as I always do. Um, so that's way skinnier than the normal jet you would fit. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go from here to here. I'm just going to use a bit of this um, Perspex and um, fiberglass it in. Okay, there's my little piece cut out. Um, I have no idea if I should have, you know, started from here and made a big V or start from just down here and made a little V. I don't know. Um, I'm not a jet boat, jet boat expert, so. Um, uh, and also the width, I've gone the same width as the outside here and then I've realised, well, it only sucks water in from this part here, so maybe it doesn't need to be that wide, but, well, that's what I'm going with. I'm just going to go the same as that. I'm just playing around, so we'll see what happens. I'll just trace it out and I'll cut the hole. So I've got my piece uh, sitting in there now. So I've got the bottom of this level with the bottom of this and this part here is leading in a little bit. Um, I don't know if I've actually gone big enough to be honest. I think it might be better if I did a bigger one but I'm just going to do this for now. It's, I mean, you know, it doesn't take long. I've been like 20 minutes doing this. So it's easy to start again if I have to. Um, so I'm just going to put some tape over this now just to hold that there, turn it around, and then fiberglass it in. Okay, so as it happens, I've run out of um, hard enough for all my fiberglass, or I don't know, I probably haven't run out, I just can't find it. So I'm just going to, um, rather than going to the shops, I'm going to use this uh, two-part epoxy, just five-minute stuff like I would on an engine mount or whatever, on a motor mount. So... Um, I don't know, it should be fine. So it's a fiberglass chop mat that I'm going to put in there like I would have done with the fiberglass resin. And I'll, I'll just use this. This is just um, stuff off of eBay. It's like 35 bucks for all that. Um, and that will last, you know, it will last me like a year. So it's, um, it's good stuff. And I think it'll be alright for this. It should be fine. 
Okay, so there it is. The uh, epoxy is still cooling down. It gets quite hot when you use that much. But I think it'll be alright. What do we got here? Okay, so now I've got a nice lead into the to the edge of this rather than the edge of this um, sticking up and perhaps water going over the top. I don't know. I still think I probably should have done it bigger. But um, I mean, if it even if it doesn't work, well, I've spent 40 minutes, you know, mucking around. It's cost me a little bit of um, glue, so I'll um, put a battery in it, put a motor back in, put a battery in it, and take it for a spin. See if it's made any difference at all. All right, I'll give it a quick test. See if it's uh, made any difference. I'll know within the first two or three seconds if it's changed it or if it's better oh yeah it's better straight away oh perfect wow it made a huge difference well that was worth doing That bouncing there is just the trim. I can change that from here actually. Oh, I can't be bothered. But that's not the that's not sucking air, that's oh, she's a lot more fun to drive now. <laughs> 